Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I get people at various times on my YouTube videos ask certain personal questions about me. So what I've decided to do is start doing an about me where I'm gonna post one video a week talking about different things that people want to know about me. So this is the first video of this series. So if you wanna be notified of when the new ones get uploaded every week, make sure you click the subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button, otherwise YouTube will not notify you when the video's uploaded. So today, it's gonna to be about all of my different tattoos because I have had people ask me various times about the tattoos. So I'm first gonna talk about the ones on my hands and actually, I'll show you this one first, which this one actually needs a little bit going over, as you can see here, because your yeah, tattoos on your fingers or on your palms can actually fade away quite easily. And this is a tattoo me and my girlfriend not got together, so it is a joint tattoo, and it symbolizes a twin flame connection, which should show you hers as well. Mm -hmm. And we got them so they joined together there. So that's the reason why we got that. If you don't know about twin flames, you can do your own research into that. Then I have this tattoo, which is a dot work tattoo. So it's all made from very small dots. And this is a sacred geometry pattern. And then it's just got some geometry. So it looks like it's like a sun pattern around it. And I became aware someone was doing the flower of life tattoo for free in Chiang Mai. So I went there and got that done and the flower of life is a pattern that I really, really love. It has a very deep meaning behind it. If you want to look into it, you can. And I got that done after being in Thailand for about a year. And then at the same time, I also got this one done, which is a color dot work mandala, which you will normally see all dot work in black. And I've never actually met anyone else that's got color dot work. And if you don't know about mandalas, you can do your research into it. But I got this done because there's an artist that I got some stickers from that had this specific design on it. I had it on my bicycle when I was into road cycling. And yeah, I got them two done together. And these basically symbolize to me moving to Thailand and changing my life and taking that big leap of faith. So yeah, they have a huge meaning behind it. And every tattoo, I didn't necessarily get almost all of them to have any meaning behind them whatsoever. But when I got them done, they're like a timestamp to certain points in my life. So they get me to reflect upon where I was, what was going on, certain challenges I had, and who I've become for today, and where my life is now. And this tattoo, here, well actually, we're gonna talk about this one first, which if I spin around, so you can actually see the direction it's meant to be in. This is the direction. And some people are aware of an ancient civilization known as the Mayans. And they have something that's similar to astrology, which you can look into your Mayan galactic signature. And this is Red Magnetic Dragon. I got this one done in about 2012. I was with someone in a relationship and this was our joint Mayan galactic signature. And for me, this one, really signifies the connection I was in at the time. It made me learn so much about myself. It made me really work out more of what I wanted in the connection, more of what I needed to work on myself and within my life. And it just was a time in my life where I had a major, major awakening. So that person had a very positive effect on me. I wouldn't be who I am today now. I wouldn't be in this connection with Knock if it wasn't for that relationship and other connections that I was in after that relationship. Yeah, it was challenging, but a life without challenge is a life without growth, and I needed to go through that. So I don't look at it as a bad thing at all. I just remember where I used to be, the connection I was in, what we had, and where I am today, so it's really, really good. And then when I was in this relationship, I'd always wanted a lot of dot work done. And we had a New Year's Eve party at my house at the time, and a friend was there and she got a dot work neck tattoo. And I was like, wow, that's amazing. I've been thinking about getting a dot work tattoo done for years, but never gone ahead with it. So I asked her for the contact details and I went to Brighton to get this done by Johnny Breeze. And he's an amazing artist. You can check him out on Instagram if you want to look into his work. He's a specialist in dot work. And I went to him and said, I want a sacred geometry tattoo that reminds me of taking 
certain things that are used to in the past that make you see pretty patterns and all these other things. And he had experience with that, I didn't actually know. So he literally came up with this design on the computer and then the rest of it, he just freehanded it and followed the lines in the direction that he wanted to and he came up with this. So a lot of it was just freehand through his imagination. And yeah, as you can see, it goes all the way around my arm. And like I said, this is complete dot work. This took around 36 hours in total. I got this done over six months because he was very busy and yeah, he had a lot of clients so I couldn't get it done as quick as possible, but it was meant to be. And I'll explain to you why. So this was one of the biggest pieces that I got. And for anyone wondering what, how much this costs, this actually cost around 3,000 pounds, I do actually remember. And the red one was about a thousand. But in Thailand, these hand ones only came to about a hundred pounds. And anything in Thailand is pretty much cheap with the majority of things. Most places you get cheap tattoos done and you'll get bad quality, especially if you're in America, Europe or England. So always make sure when you're getting tattoos done, you go to artists that is very, very skilled because it's gonna be on your skin for the rest of your life. And make sure the tattoo you're getting, you really think it through before you actually go and get it done because you may regret it. And getting lasered off takes a lot of time. It is quite painful for a lot of people. It costs a lot of money. So yeah, just be very, very careful with that. And then we have this one, which this is another Mayan Galactic Signature. And this one is Yellow Cosmic Star. And it's literally this and this whole bit here as well. Well, and this one, I think I got around a year ago or so. And for many people that have been following me for ages would know about my partner that I was with, well, about three years ago, I think now, which I mentioned briefly in my year transformation video. If you haven't seen that, where I gained around 10 kilos of muscle in a year and went from skinny and frail to very ripped and muscular. I put a link for it up above so you go and check that. And as I mentioned in that, I had a partner at the time where we was in a scooter accident and she had her life ended right in front of me. She was actually six months pregnant with my child. It was a very traumatic experience. So I've moved through all of that now and processed all of the trauma and everything. It's not something that was obviously very nice at all, but yeah, it's just one of those things that happened. And yeah, at some point when I was in Chiang Mai, Thailand, which I live at most of the time of the year while I'm in Thailand, my intuition just said, get, get her Man Galactic signature done. And it kept saying it over and over and again. So I was like, yeah, that's a really good idea. So this is a tattoo that really gets me to remember her and she was one of the most positive, influential people that allowed me to grow more than any other person that I've been in intimate connection with, and even non-intimate connection. She brought things into my life such as conscious communication, conscious relationship skills. She made me aware of so many different things. She just, yeah, one of the most amazing people. And yeah, so she's a really, well, that tattoo is a really good reminder of her. And yeah, I was very grateful for the connection we had. So yeah, that one is very, very important to me. And then we have this one, which we only got this, well, I only got this done just before I moved to Koh Phang Yang, um, which was around two months ago, I got this done. And this is a lion, as you can see here, with some cosmic cosmos stuff that goes around the arm. And the reason I got this done was I saw some work by a specific tattoo artist I really liked. And I was like, I'd like to have something similar to that. So I went to Monster Tattoo Studio and got tattooed by Monster himself, who is the tattoo studio owner. Also, his wife worked there and a friend as well. And this one, I'll tell you, was one of the most painful tattoos that I have ever had. Obviously, you just have to grin and bear it. But this area, and we spoke to one of Nock's friend that came in a tattoo shop, it's one of the most painful areas to get it done here, and he's just going sh -sh 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 like this. It's way more painful, this type of tattoo, because it's not dot work. Dot work is nowhere near as painful. But yeah, I'm really glad that I got that done. I was meant to get the rest of my arm completely filled up, but we ran out of time. This took a long time. I can't remember how much this one cost. 
Um, but yeah, I'm really, really happy about it. And this one signifies the warrior archetype within myself. The one that has been able to go through so, so many challenges and traumas and push through it and become the greatest, strongest version of myself and never letting any of my adversities knock me down and keep me down and break me. So yeah, it's, yeah, signifying something that is within my character and myself. And obviously I've got it as well because it just looks really appealing to me. And then we have this color dot work mandala, which I got this done because I liked the look of dot work mandalas. I didn't really see anyone online when I did my research into the tattoo for this. I thought about this a lot. And yeah, it's as colorful as I could possibly get it to be. And it's just like a rainbow to me. And I'd say this one doesn't signify necessarily anything, except for moving from the place that we lived to here and the life that we set up here, which is the most amazing life that I've ever had in every single way. So yeah, that is all of the tattoos and you can get a bit of a view from them there. But yeah, I definitely plan to get way more tattoos in the future. I would have had more way sooner, but um, it's very sunny here. We spend a lot of time in the sun. We go in the sea a lot and yeah, you have to wait for tattoos to heal quite a while before you can really get a lot of sun exposure and see. And I almost forgot one and it is this one. And this one is a Sanskrit word which a lot of people will notice in my videos, which means ahimsa. Well, it says ahimsa, which in short means non-violent and compassion to everything and everyone. So one thing it connects to is me eating a vegan diet, also me living the most non-violent life possible and doing things such as non-violent communication because so many people are violent with their words in many different ways, whether they're aware of it or not. And I got this tattoo randomly. I was with a friend that randomly appeared in Thailand. They said they'd come and see me. I said, yeah, sure, come down and see me in Phuket when I was living there. And we went to a tattoo studio uh, down right down the bottom of Phuket. We was there till almost 3 a.m., which is crazy because I never sat there. I normally go to bed at 8 p.m. And yeah, I knew I have a friend that got this done. And instead of getting a vegan tattoo done like a lot of vegans do, I wanted to get this because veganism... It's something that means a lot to me, but Ahimsa represents that and way more, the whole non-violent lifestyle. And yeah, I'm really, really happy with them. And what I say is, I used to have a tattoo right here on my wrist when I was about 18. It was my girlfriend's initials, HH, which I actually got them lasered off. You might be able to see it a little bit, but I doubt that you can. But I had to get a lot of laser sessions to get that lasered off because it's not something I wanted anymore. They did quite a good job of that. Um, but yeah, luckily it was quite small, so it wasn't one that took loads and loads and loads of time and lots and lots of money. And yeah, I'm excited to see what other tattoos I get in the future. A lot of them are just spontaneous and I make sure that I do never rush into them without thinking it through fully. And yeah, if you ever want tattoos done, I highly recommend them, but make sure, and this is something that a lot of people mention to me, is do not realize the ink from tattoos well, the tattoo ink is very toxic and harmful to you and a lot of it's non-vegan. I always make sure I use 100% vegan ink that is using organic pigments and ingredients within it. So the inks that I normally use are intense and eternal inks. You can do your research up online and find many other non-toxic organic pigment inks out there that are non-toxic because I'm telling you a lot of them contain non vegan things such as ground down animal bones and color made down from ground down beetle shells and the color that actually comes from them and just so many other things that you do not want in the ink that is being put within your skin. So make sure you do as much research as you can up on that as well. So if you have any questions, leave them down below. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down. Please share this video with anyone else you think wants to hear about this about me with my tattoos specifically. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button to receive a lot more about me videos on a weekly basis, videos on calisthenics, weight loss, intermittent fasting, and many other different things to help you go in the direction to achieve the body, the fitness levels, and the energy levels, and hope at the same time my videos inspire you to create more of the life and become the best version of yourself as well. 
So yeah, make sure you do click that subscribe button down below if you want to be notified of when those videos are uploaded and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. As I mentioned earlier on the video, otherwise you'll not be notified of when those new videos are uploaded. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go get those gains. Peace.